Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, it's 6.53. Time to get you ready for your Thursday here in the Morning Sprint. Mark Peterson has sunshine in today's forecast. Robin Nance following a new way to track your stimulus money. But first to Olivia Roberts with a breaking news update. Well, we're learning more than 22 million Americans are out of a job as another 5.2 million filed for their first week of unemployment benefits last week. That's more than 13% of the workforce. We should know the latest numbers here in Washington later today. And more than 11,000 11, people in Spokane County alone filed for unemployment in the last three weeks. And that's not even including all the people who couldn't get through to the, unemployment, to the employment security department by phone. If you're one of them in Spokane, a local nonprofit wants to help. Spokane Unemployment Law Project can offer advice and legal assistance, all free of charge. You can find a link to their website on KXOI.com. And as of this morning, Spokane County is reporting eight new cases of COVID-19. That means 278 so far. No new deaths from the virus, though. In Kootenai County, there are three new cases. Idaho Governor Brad Little extending that state's order to stay in place for another two weeks. Restaurants have already been serving customers in drive throughs and with curbside pickup. And now the governor is encouraging retailers to do the same thing. Little is also asking anyone who lives or leaves Idaho and comes back in to self-quarantine for 14 days. In the resort town of Sun Valley, people came from places like Seattle and California and left the virus behind. Washington Governor Jay Inslee also making an announcement telling people there's a chance the state stay home order could be extended. The governor said he could open things back up if cases reach a low enough level so the curve won't go up. Inslee also said a system of rapid testing and rapid isolation needs to be in place. Inslee says reopening the state will be a reverse of how it closed. Non-essential businesses would reopen before large gatherings are allowed. A clear sky has us cooling down in your first alert weather. We're sitting at 35 degrees right now, and we see again blue skies continuing to dominate eastern Washington and now north Idaho as uh, those clouds get pushed away. Highs day are going to be into the mid to upper 50s looking good. 80 million Americans saw their stimulus money hit their bank accounts yesterday. If you weren't one of them, don't panic. Payments are still being processed and sent to millions of people. And now you can track the status of your payments through a new tool on the IRS website. It's called Get My Payment. And all you have to do is submit some personal information to track the status of your money. Just make sure you're actually going through the official IRS website because information you need to submit does include sensitive data like your social security number. We are told that six more residents and a second employee at the Spokane Veterans Home have tested positive for coronavirus. That brings the total to 19 residents and two employees testing positive. Last week, one person from the Veterans Home died from the virus, and a Veterans Home spokesperson says the employee who tested positive is resting at home in self-isolation. North Central High School English teacher Kelly Kiki says he was just about to start his lesson on the book To Kill a Mockingbird before school closed. So now he's taking it to YouTube, encouraging his ninth grade students to follow along with his videos as they read the book. In his videos, he breaks down each chapter and brings the characters to life. He tries to act out parts of the novel and even brings his own son into the scenes with him. He says his goal is to make learning fun during this difficult time and engage his students. To view Mr. Kiki's YouTube videos on To Kill a Mockingbird, check out this story on kxly.com. All right, coming up next on Good Morning America, demonstrations are taking place across the country against stay-at-home orders. The protesters rallying in state capitals, calling the orders too extreme and a violation of their rights. Sad irony here is that the protest was that they don't like being in this stay-home order, and they may have just created a need to lengthen it. A group of people in Michigan have even filed a lawsuit against the governor, saying that her stay-at-home order is unconstitutional. And tonight on 4 News Now, your family has the chance to sing along to your favorite Disney songs with stars who brought them to life. ABC's Disney Family Sing Along will feature songs like Let It Go and Beauty and the Beast. You can join the fun with your family on 4 News Now at 8 o'clock tonight. Then stick around for more local news at 11. We'll check weather once again with Mark right after this.